Dr. Nico coming to you live, full effect, here at 2016 Bahamas Carnival. I'm here with the lovely, beautiful, talented, exquisite Fayan Lyons. I am not paying you enough. Seriously, seriously, with, with that introduction, I am not paying you enough. I have to, sister. Oh my gosh, you're too wonderful. Thank you. From the time I ever met you, your energy is on 1,000. Thank you. He, look who's talking. Hey. Look who's talking, Miss Energy herself. But thank you very much. I could go on and on. Carnival is something that's way beyond the jump and the festival and the drinking and the partying. Carnival is, is something that could maintain, sustain, educate, entertain, and inform people from different countries, creed, and races. Wow, fan, you've said it. I mean, goodness gracious. Now, as far as carnival, the soca music, the influence of the music, the roots of the music, how do you feel about the fusion of different fusions of music, like Afrobeat? You got, um, now you have the Cuban artists performing. You have rock coming into soca. You have R&B coming into soca. I mean, we love you. Of course, reggae coming into soca. How do you feel about that? I appreciate it because at the end of the day, um, we can't we can't live segregated anymore. We need to understand that for music to transcend borders, it needs to evolve. It needs to be integrated with different things. For instance, here we are with Mr. Ricardo. This is your girl Empress and Aniko for Island Fat Fitness Hall Productions and Ask Aniko. We're backstage at the Miami Carnival, and these artists are just tearing up the stage. So we like to let you know who we are first. So you know how much you influence us. We have a brand called Fatsy that is Caribbean Dance Fitness. Yes. So we teach choreography to your ah, songs. Ah, nice. All, this, all over the DMV and really all over the world. Nice. So first, we would like to thank you for your great music. Thank you. And next, we just want to know, how are you enjoying Miami Carnival? Man, Miami Carnival has been growing so much in the last couple of years. And I think this by far is one of the best. Last year it was really great. This year was even better and I, I really hope that the carnival continues to grow and, and, and you know maximize on, on the hype you know a lot of sometimes a lot of people get jump on the hype and after that they can't maintain they can't be consistent but I, I if you had to go to a desert island yeah. and you could only take three things with you what are the first things that come to mind um my daughters my daughters and oh wow that's a hard question way we asked the hard question the first three. My daughters and the sass dance nation. Hey! 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 I love it. I love it. Live and full of flat here at Bahamas Carnival, and I'm here with the legendary, one and only, talented, most reputable, Wyclef Jean. Hey, Wyclef, what's going on, man? Long time no see. How are you? I'm so well. Long time no see. It's been since Radio One. That's right. Yeah, I've grown up a little bit. I know. You're still beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. And this doesn't throw you off, Lyrical. No, no. If you were on a deserted island and yeah. you could only take three things with you, what would they be? Three females. Hey! You heard it from Lyrical. He was. <laughs> I can't even compose myself. <laughs> Look. No, 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 no. no, no.